Hi guys, this is part two of making toys for my kids I uploaded last Friday. We are turning this cardboard box to a beautiful bed for the dolls. In part one, I showed you how to make the bed cover, so you can go ahead and watch that one first. The link is in the description box. And now we are making a blanket and a pillow. To make the pillow puffy, I'll insert a sponge inside, but that's for later. Let's cut the fabric first. I'm using the sponge as a template for the pillow, adding about 3 cm all around. You will need two pieces of the same size for the pillow. My white fabric was very sheer, so I cut an extra piece of it, but don't mind that. And I cut two pieces for the blanket that were about the same side of the box. Let's sew the blanket first. Place the two pieces of fabric right sides together. Then on the edge between the two pieces, insert the pom-poms and secure with pins. I have to say that using my serger for that was a huge mistake and you will see me later switching to my sewing machine. Also, you can totally skip the pom-poms and sew it as is, it is beautiful enough. This is what it should look like and now do the other side as well. I'm using the serger to sew one of the two remain open sides. You can totally use just a sewing machine for all the steps. And if you do so, don't forget to go back and forth at the beginning and end to secure your stitches. Now flip it inside out and we will close the last open side. To make it nice and pretty, fold the edges about one centimeter inside. You can attach both sides with clips or pins so it will not move while you sew. Then, sew a straight line with your sewing machine. Don't forget to go back and forth at the beginning and the end, like I said before. I recommend moving your needle to the right side if it's possible in your sewing machine so you can sew close to the end. And I also added the same stitch on the other side so they will look similar. Remember our sponge pillow? It's time to make it happen. Place two pieces of fabric right sides together and then sew the two longer sides together. Okay, flip it inside out and we will close one of the two open sides and add pom-poms as well to match everything else. So, fold the edges about one centimeter inside, then insert the pom-pom string between them and secure with pins. I'm going to sew it with my sewing machine, which is so much better than using my serger, like I did in the blanket. Now insert the sponge and close the last open side the same way. And we are done! This DIY was very fun to make and I'm so happy with the end result. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video or try to make it at home, please let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!